Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Masi, and today we are going to make this beautiful top that you see on the thumbnail. It's a plus size off shoulder sweater top, and these are the requirements you need a tape measure, scissors, I have a darning needle, and then we have five millimeter crocheting hook. And the yarn that I'm going to use today is Winter King. It's a four ply and it's 100% acrylic. This is a 50 gram ball and the color is 512. It, it's gray. Uh, you will need 12 of these pieces, which is 600 grams of yarn. So, whichever uh, yarn that you decide to use, uh, ensure that the recommended hook size is 5 millimeters. So, welcome and let's dive into it. This top fits a uh, 44 bust size, a uh, 48 hip size, and 26, it will be 26 inches long. Yeah, so those are the sizes that you're working with. Now to begin, make a slip knot. And then chain a hundred and sixty two make a chain of hundred and sixty two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so make hundred and sixty two I have done a hundred and sixty two now Ensure you don't twist because we're going to join. The chains you make, let them be in multiples of 5 plus 2. That is why I did 160 plus 2 which is 162. Then join with a slip stitch here. So we've joined it to the round, chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and then work double crochets in every stitch around. Uh, so into every chain work a double crochet and then pull through 2, work a double crochet into this next chain two and then two another double crochet so work double crochets into every chain so slip stitch on the third chain and then chain three one two three now the chain three will be acting as a double crochet in every row that I work so in this next double crochet here we're going to work a front post double crochet and then followed by a back post double crochet then a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet so we are alternating front post double crochets and back post double crochets a front post and then a back post double crochet so do this up to the end of this round slip stitch on the third chain And then chain three 
Now in this row and the next four rows, you'll be working a front post into the previous front post. And then a back post into the previous back post. So into the front post, you work a front post. And into the back post, you work a back post. Front post, a front post. And then to the back post, you work a back post, double crochet. So do this. Uh, and then you will have a total of six rows. So this will be the first row, the second, the third. And then work three more, you have a total of six rows. So I did six rounds, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now on this other round, we are working on the body now of the top. This was the ribbing. I will chain three, one, two, and three. And then into the next double crochet, I will work three double crochets. Where you had your front post here, I will work three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one and then work one more double crochet into the same stitch. Like this. Yarn over. Skip four. One, two, three, four. And into the fifth, work three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one and then work a double crochet into the very same stitch. One more time. Yarn over, skip four, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, work three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, and then work a double crochet. One more time. Skip four, one, two, three, four, into the fifth, Work three double crochets, two, three, chain one, and then one more double crochet. Now do this up to the end of this round. So you have five left, one, two, three, four. On the fifth, you double crochet three, one, two, three, chain one, and then another double crochet. And then slip stitch on top of the third chain. Chain three and in this row we are going to start with one double crochet, one, chain one and then three double crochets, one, two and three. Into the chain one space you work one double crochet, you chain one and then you work three double crochets, two and three. Into the chain one, chain three. This is the third round of this granny square drunken pattern. And into the chain one space, work three double crochets, one, two and three. Chain one and then work one double crochet into the very same space. Into the next chain one space here, work three double crochets. One, two, three. And then chain one and work one double crochet into the same space. We are repeating what we did at round one. Now for the next 32 rounds, repeat round one and round two. So in total you should have 35 rows of an interchange of these rows, row one and row two, or roughly 26 inches. Whichever size of hook you're using and yarn, uh, work for 26 inches. Chain three, this is the third round of this granny square drunken pattern, and into the chain one space, work three double crochets one, two, and three. Chain one and then work one double crochet into the very same space. Into the next chain one space here, work 
three double crochets one two three and then chain one and work one double crochet into the same space we are repeating what we did at round one now for the next 32 rounds repeat round one and round two so in total you should have 35 rows of an interchange of these rows row one and row two or roughly 26 inches whichever size of hook you're using and yarn uh, work for 26 inches so I have done 35 rows rounds so this is what I have we are going now to make the arms and then we will join them to the top for the arms you make a slip knot and then you make a chain of 42 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten make 42 so after you've made 42 which is multiples of five plus two you slip stitch into the beginning chain chain three one two three and then make double crochets into every chain so into the next chain here because the first the double crochet works as the first uh, the, the chain three works as the first double crochet all through this project so work double crochets into every chain the ribbon is the same as the top ribbon that we had done so work double crochets all round slip stitch into the third chain chain three and then into the next double crochet work a front post double crochet and into the next double crochet work a back post double crochet so interchange these two so a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet front post and then a back post front post and then back post do this up to the end slip stitch to the th third chain chain three and then into every front post double crochet work a front post double crochet and into the back post double crochets work back post double crochets into the front posts you work a front post and into the back posts you work a back post now work until you have a total of six rows one two three so work three more until you have a total of six rows so you chain three and then into the next double crochet where you had worked a front post double crochet work three double crochets two three chain one and then work another double crochet into the same stitch skip five one two three four a skip four sorry skip four and then into the fifth work three double crochets two three chain one and a double crochet skip four again one two three four into the fifth work three double crochets chain one and one double crochet into the same so re do this up to the end of the round slip stitch onto the third chain chain three and in this row you work into the chain one space here work a double crochet a chain one and then three double crochets it's like we are interchanging what we did on the first row yeah, on the first round so into the chain one space you work a double crochet you chain one and then work three double crochets one two and three into the next chain one space you work a double crochet a chain one and then three double crochets two and three now interchange these rows up to row uh, sorry these are rounds interchange these rounds 
up to round number seven. So do this, interchanging them, until you get to round number seven. For round eight, you will chain three and then make an increase. So double crochet at the foot of the chain three. Make a double crochet. And then continue with the pattern. So into the chain one space, you will work a double crochet, a chain one, and then three double crochets. One, two, three. Into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet. Three double crochets. So repeat this to the end, and at the end you'll also make an increase. So at the end of the round, still at the foot of the chain three here, make a double crochet. Where you had slip stitched into the previous slip stitch, make a double crochet, and then slip stitch on the top of the third slip stitch into the third chain of the of the turning chain then from here for the next three rows we will be making increases so chain three again and into the foot here make a double crochet and then into the next double crochet make another double crochet and then continue with the pattern into the chain one space work three double crochets two three chain one and then work a double crochet into the next chain space work three double crochets one two three chain one and make one double crochet so do this up to the end now into the previous double crochet work a double crochet and then another so work two double crochets into the previous double crochet and then slip stitch into the third uh, chain. You make a slip stitch. Chain three and make another increase. So in this, into the foot of the double crochet, work another double crochet and then two more double crochets into the next two double crochets. So you have a total of three beginning double crochets. Into the chain one space, work a double crochet, a chain one, and then work three double crochets into the same stitch. We are maintaining the pattern, so into the chain one space, work a double crochet, a chain one, and then three double crochets. One, two, and then three. Do this to the end. So at the end, you make another increase. So we have three double crochets uh, here at the beginning and at the end. So the beginning we have three and at the end here we have three. So we'll make one more increase so that we can have four double crochets. But in this one, this is how we will do it. You chain three and then, and then you make a double crochet at the foot of the chain three. Now the pattern here is, when you look at this, it was a double crochet, a chain one, and then three double crochets. So in this round, we're supposed to do three double crochets, a chain one, and then a double crochet. In short, we're supposed to repeat what we did in the previous row. So what I will do, I will work three double crochets. So I have already worked one into the foot of this. So I will work the second and the third into this. So two. And then we have a total of three double crochets. Uh, do not count the beginning of the turning chain. So we have one, two, three. Chain one and then work a double crochet into the next double crochet. And then into this stitch, into the chain one space here, we are maintaining the pattern. You work three double crochets, two, three, chain one and then a double crochet three double crochets two three chain one and then a double crochet now do this up to the end so into this increases we are maintaining the pattern as much as possible so I work three double crochets one two three into all these double crochets so one two and then three chain one and make an increase here so a double crochet into the last stitch that you had worked a double crochet and then slip stitch 
into the third chain and it's done so into this next round you're supposed to chain three and skip all these double crochets and work a double crochet into the chain one space here the chain one that we had worked so work a double crochet and then chain one and and work three double crochets into that chain one space two and three into the next cluster working into the chain one space you work a double crochet a chain one and then three double crochets now for this round of uh, without increases this round that we had begun we are not making an increase uh, make two more so that you have uh, three rounds that st without increases so round one two and then three without an increase and then after that you will repeat the increases from this point these four rows of increases you will repeat them I hope we are together you will work three rows without increases this is the first so you work two more you have three rounds without increases after that so that will get get you to round 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 up to round 14 so count your rounds from round 11 from round 12 this is 12 13 and 14 you will not make increases but round 15 16 17 and 18 you will repeat these rounds that we are done here of increases so round 15 16 17 and 18 so work up to round 18 and then we will get back after this increase this is round 15 16 17 and 18 we repeated what we did here the increases we did here so after you after round 18 i made 11 more rounds without increases so 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and 29 so up to round 21 i did without increases so from round 19 to 21 uh, uh, 29 you were not going to make any increases i hope we are together so this is the size of the this is the arm that we have made now make these two and then you will get back so that I can show you how to join uh, the top the arms to the top we are going to place stitch markers onto our tops and the arms so that we know where we are supposed to join our arms so what you will do this is the turning chain so you will fold it like this and then align these clusters together so one two and three so these are going to be uh, to be joined to the arm when you do like this this is the size that we will have so into from the turning chain you will have one two three and then place a stitch marker here okay and then after the turning chain one two three and then you place a stitch marker then hold it together and align to the end align to the end and then you will have at the middle middle of it it's supposed to be this they, there will be one extra so this one extra will come to the front so you have one two three and the front panel now will have one extra cluster because I did not have even uh, clusters, number of clusters. So the last three, one, two, three for the front side and the last three for the back side, place stitch marker. So I have placed my stitch marker here and then there's another stitch marker here. So we are done with the top. We have four stitch markers that we have placed. Now we come to the arms. For the arms, we will have two stick markers each. So you place it like this. The turning chain is here. Uh, so three to the right. One, two, three clusters to the right. You put a stitch marker. And then three clusters to the left. You place a stitch marker. 
and then for the other arm it's the same thing we have the turning chain one two three a stitch marker one two three a stitch marker now we are going to begin with one arm joining it to this other to to the side of the top here this is what we have now we are going to lay this one like this and then this you see this turning chain it will be facing this side so we are joining them like this the turning chains when you align them we have three one two three clusters then the turning chain here and the turning chain here uh -huh. and then we have up to this place so we are going to join these arms like this so this bigger side it has more clusters this one has a cumulative of six clusters, so three, three, that is six. But this other side will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight facing you. So we are going to join this six to the other six. So what you do, get your yarn. So this is my yarn. And then, Put your hook into the stitch marker and into the other stitch marker of the top. So you can now remove your stitch markers and then join your yarn and chain one and then make a single crochet into that into those chains the stitches. Now into the next up to up to the next um, stitches here up to the next markers that we have we are going to join these two using the single crochet method so into the chain one space insert your hook and into this double crochet here that is corresponding put your hook and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through these two into this double crochet and into the next double crochet down here make a single crochet into this double crochet and into the chain one space here work a double crochet and then into this double crochet and this other double crochet make a single crochet so the first cluster is done into the next you do the same double crochet and the corresponding double crochet chain one and the corresponding double crochet double crochet and a double crochet and then double crochet and the corresponding chain one then double crochet and double crochet all being joined by a single crochet so single crochet up through these markers here you single crochet these two panels together up to these markers so into the stitch markers here and this other stitch marker let me remove them So into the stitch markers you work a single crochet also now after this we have already joined this arm now we are going to work single crochets here now on the top panel only on the body part here the, the top part we are going to work single crochets but the arm is already joined so you leave this panel alone and then you work onto this so work a single crochet into every previous double crochet worked and chain one. So where you have a chain one and where you have a previous double crochet, you work single crochets. So do this up to this next stitch marker. So I have worked single crochets all through here. Now I have come to this next stitch marker. Now I'm going to join a, uh, my other arm, this arm. And I'm going to place it like this, the way I did in the previous. So these are the two stitch markers. Let me align them here. We have this stitch marker and this one here. So I am going to place my arm like this. So the three, the three clusters here and the three clusters here are going to face this side. So I insert my hook into this stitch marker here then I remove the stitch marker 
I then insert my hook into the stitch marker down here. Here. Then I remove the stitch marker and work a single crochet. And then I will work single crochets corresponding, uh, joining these uh, two pieces together. So into the chain one space and into the, uh, 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 the next double crochet here, I will work a single crochet. Into the double crochet and into the next double crochet, a single crochet. Into the next and into the chain one space, I work a single crochet into the next double crochet and into the next double crochet I work a single crochet so cluster one is done so I do the five more clusters joining them up to these other stitch markers so into the stitch marker here and into the next I will insert my hook and then I remove the stitch markers remove these stitch markers and then work a single crochet we are done with joining this other arm so I will work now on the back panel of the top work single crochets all round so work a single crochet into every stitch and every chain one space work a single crochet so I'm here this is where we began making our single crochet and joining joining uh, this part so I will not slip stitch into this uh, beginning single crochet but I will slip stitch into this first um, stitch on the next cluster here because now we are going to work round here we are not going to work into where we had uh, already joined now we have this this is how our top looks. We now need to make uh, a round of double crochets because we want to make a ribbing up here. Uh, the ribbing, the same ribbing that we had made uh, when beginning our top. Something similar to this. But we will have to make a double crochet, uh, a round of double crochets first and then we will make a decrease because the top is too wide so we will have to make decreases. But first First things first, you chain three and then into the next you work a double crochet and work double crochets into every stitch round. Work double crochets into every stitch around. For this first arm, you will need, you remember we do not work single crochets into this first, this arm here, it's still okay. So when you're working double crochets, work into the chain one space to the double crochets. But when you get to the single crochets here and all round, work double crochets into every single crochet stitch. So work double crochets all round. So slip stitch into the third chain. Now in this round we're going to make decreases. But we will also be working uh, double crochet, uh, front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So this is what we will do. You chain three and into the next work a front post double crochet. Into the next a back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. So you've worked four in total. So front post, back post, front post, back post. Into the next two, you will make a decrease, and this is how you will do it. You will work a front post, pull through two. You have two stitches on your hook. Into the next, work a back post, yarn over, pull through two, and then now yarn over, pull through all these three. So you've made a decrease here, or you've worked uh, uh, front post and back post double crochets together. Into the next four, you will go work a back post. Now here you will start with a back post. Work a back post, double crochet. Because this one is going to work as a front post double crochet in the next round. So it has to be followed by a back post, 
double crochet then work a front post double crochet then a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet so we have worked for back post front post back post front post now into the next two we are going to make a decrease so you work as if you're working a back post double crochet chain two and then pull these two you have two hook two chains two stitches on your hip on your hook then in the next work a front post pull through two and then pull through all these three so in the next row this is going to work as a back post double crochet so in the next stitch you will work a front post double crochet so because we want in the next round we want all these to alternate front post back post front post back post because we are making a ribbon we're going to make a ribbon so into the next work a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet so we have worked four without a decrease now in the next two again we will work a front post double crochet but we are working them together with the next back post double crochet so pull through two you have two stitches on your hook yarn over work a back post pull through these two you have three pull through all the three so this is going to work as a front post double crochet in the next round so now we work a back post double crochet and then followed by a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then make a decrease back post pull through two you have two yarn over work a front post pull through two you have three now pull through all these three and then now work a front post double crochet in short we are working four and making a decrease in the fifth and sixth so do this up to the so for this round and the next five rounds you will be working uh, it will be a repeat of this round so you chain three work a front post double crochet into the previous front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet into every back post double crochet front post into a front post and then back post to a back post now in this decrease here we are make, going to make a front post because we did a back post so this one will be a front post and then in the next we will have a back post then a front post back post front post and then this next decrease will be a back post double crochet and then the sequence continues now do this row working double uh, front post double crochets into previous front post double crochets and then the back post into the previous back post and work four more rows so you will have a total of seven rows from the beginning here you count you will have a total of seven rows so do this and let's meet at the end so i have worked one two three four five six and seven rows actually i did eight uh, it's okay and another thing i wanted to say keep measuring uh, the size of the shoulders and compare it to yours if um, after reducing doing this reduction here in the second row you uh, it doesn't fit uh, the size that you wanted you can make another row of decreases so in short you're supposed to decrease until you are comfortable with your decreases with your size the size that you have made now I'm going to do the final row and this is the finishing and I'm going to do a reverse um, reverse single crochets so that they can act as a border here on on the on the neck on the shoulders so chain one and then insert your hook into this second in this uh, single crochet usually we work headed this side but now we are working backwards so insert your hook into the first single crochet here to your right that is and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through these two insert your hook into the next yarn over pull through yarn over 
pull through the two. It's called a uh, reverse single crochet. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two. You're making single crochets, but on the reverse, usually we work this way. Now we are, going, we, we are working backwards. So do this, make this border, and then we will see the final product. It's it's a beautiful border. So do up to the end. Yeah, now this is the finishing I did for the top and it's ready. So thank you very much for watching and thank you, thank you, thank you for watching to the end. Uh, when you're done making yours, please share your photos on our Instagram uh, page. We ha we go by the handle at Give Me Life Africa underscore and then on Facebook you can join our group or you can uh, uh, post in our page. You can share with us so that we know what you have made and if it was helpful. If you've not subscribed, please, please subscribe and share with your friends so that we can always keep learning together. And if possible, please do not skip the ads because they help us raise something so that we can keep the videos coming. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.